Okay, so when prepping, a little secret here, when prepping, right, uh, I will always secretly, like in, in inside, I will just thank the meat for like, wow, you, you guys are like beautiful, like a gorgeous piece of meat and I just so grateful for it and I didn't want to waste it. Hi, I'm Jace from SG Brisket Kitchen and I sell smoked meats in Singapore. So I started with uh, selling smoked uh, meats and I dabbled into like uh, brisket is because brisket is one of the hardest meat to smoke. It's actually the toughest cut that you can find in a, in a cow. So uh, I feel that it's a really a challenging thing to try to smoke brisket using low and slow method and just wood and charcoal. So I started this from a passion, like a hobby, a weekend hobby because uh, I'm always the go-to person for a normal barbecue. But then in Singapore, you know, our family barbecues are always the same and more or less like satay chicken wings. Uh, then after that, it's like when I move on into smoking and then there's a lot of trial and error. And then of course, there's a lot of failed meats as well. So my friends and family eat until they quite bored of it, quite sad already. <laughs> so I decided and then they were like, um, Jason, why not you try to sell online and see how it goes? So I never expect that, you know, by doing it, releasing it online, a uh, response was so good and that's how I moved on into, uh, into a business. So uh, when I first started out, I used like uh, Texas style uh, because I really like how Aaron Franklin, you know, the god of like smoked briskets. Uh, and I, I actually bought a masterclass program from, from him online to learn about it. So my brisket is basically uh, quite Texas style. Uh, just salt and pepper and lots of love and patience. So basically the meat that I use are mostly from uh, US and grain fat. Like the brisket that I use, I, I personally have a preference for grain fat meat and not grass fat because like uh, grass fat I feel like the, the, the flavours are a little bit too strong for me. So I always, go, I always insist for uh, grain fat USDA uh, brisket. Then also for my pork, um, I don't really use those uh, usual pork that you all get from Australia or Indonesia. I use mostly from Holland, Canada or US as well because they are much fattier. The fat content is like uh, fat content to the meat ratio, I feel that is better. Because uh, for uh, Indonesia pork, I feel that it is more lean. So uh, the smoker that I'm using is also from US. Uh, it's, it's an offset smoker. So basically, you have to feed wood log into it. So by feeding wood log into it and burning, right, it gives a very strong wood profile, wood flavor profile to the meats. And this is where you know a lot of long hours and labor will be into this using offset smoker because uh, it's quite intensive in the sense that you got to keep feeding the wood and charcoal, maintain the te temperature as well. So this part is like pretty different from using uh, electric or gas smoker where you just switch it on and then you just leave it. But uh, I feel that I, I enjoy playing with fire. So actually to me, although it's difficult and quite laborious, but this is the fun part where you get to, you know, every, every time you smoke the meat is different because temperature fluctuates and, every, and, and wood log maybe, you know, the size may be different. So I, I just love playing with fire in this way, <laughs> the legal way. Uh, on average, I would say that I spend like about at least 20 hours in this small little space. So I will try to entertain myself by, you know, um, working. I don't know is that called entertainment, but I do have a skateboard. So I will just go downstairs and skateboard around. So when I first started uh, this hobby of mine, like uh, one and a half years ago, uh, it was like a home based uh, business or, you know, just smoking out from a backyard. So during that time, I have a full time job as well. So um, and I was doing this on a part time basis. So when I moved into a SFA commercial licensed uh, kitchen, I was also doing it on a part-time basis, like smoking on uh, after work on Friday to Saturday and Sunday. But uh, just recently, uh, I have a big update for you guys is that I, I left my job, I left my full-time job uh, from uh, oil and gas uh, industry and I'm going to do this like full-time. So basically, I will say that the challenges, the main challenge that I have for smoking meat is that uh, having patience. Uh, being patient to, to, you know, to all these like 20 odd hours because uh, I'm not a very patient person. Everybody know that I'm like um, very impulsive, very quick tempered as well. Wow, but by doing the soul, this type of things, right? I, I need to tell myself, no, no, you know, you don't, we don't remove the meat, you know, you got to, you know, just wait and don't keep opening the, the, the smoker lid as well. Like, 
just don't rush the process like I feel that this also uh, is applicable to my life like you know good things will come just be patient and just wait so this is something that I keep telling myself just wait just wait you know just be patient so if you realize that my meats are usually sold in a vacuum pack and chilled it's because I'm generally a very lazy person <laughs> So I came up with this idea that um, you don't have really have to keep washing all the oily utensils and plates and dishes and I thought I was quite brilliant to come up with a way like you know you put it into a vacuum pack and then you don't even have to cut it open you just put the entire bag into a steamer or into a hot water bar for like 15 minutes and that's it you can eat it anytime and anywhere you like to you know to eat So a lot of people may not be aware of this but you know every time when you cook your meat it shrinks so this is the part where, especially when I put like such a big uh, brisket, like you know, a 9-10 kilo slab of meat into the smoker, what happens is that after 20 hours, all the fats and the, and the muscle fibres and everything will just render into liquid. And when it's, going, when it's turning into liquid, it will just shrink. So the shrinkage, like you know, I put in like a 10 kilo in, I'll get back like 4 or 5 kg. Uh, if you think about smoked meats in Singapore, don't forget to support me. I'm Jace from SG Brisket Kitchen. Thank you.